Hello world of YouTube, Archie here again. Today I have some lyrics I wrote. Um, this is a song uh, towards Kanye West. Now, uh, the reason why I wrote this song was due to the fact that, yeah, I'm getting really disgusting with what he comes out with. Uh, he's overrated to me. Been looking up on him. Uh, just for the fact is because he's come out the way he has with his cocky attitude and I can see why he's in a cocky attitude because he thinks he's all you know all his albums are platinum 27 Grammys if you got 27 Grammys how come he's not hosting the Grammys um you know the last yeah, I've been you know in the news you hear about him this and that this and that of course the most uh, you know, the the last thing he did say that got the whole world feud up was he's risking his life by, you know, going to stand on high stage props and fall off. He could risk his life. Um, you know what? <laughs> Angus Young from ACDC in his younger days used to stand on 20-foot amps, you know, fall off, land on his back and play guitar. I mean, that guy was one crazy fucker back in his day. <laughs> um, and this guy's worried about falling off somewhere, you know, whatever, you know. As much as I hate to <laughs> put it in, uh, Lady Gaga fell on her head on the piano. Could have got a concussion, could have got knocked out, but she got back up and performed and finished it. I mean, I give her credit on that. I mean, I don't like that person due to the fact that, right, she's also overrated I think her music and lyrics suck I mean she did the Muppet show <laughs> and the way she dressed was just provocative and disgusting um but things like that though I noticed him watching when Kanye West gonna throw himself out there right like a fireman a military man no you're not on the front lines buddy getting shot at you know risking your life to get burnt in a fucking fire or even that having some drug dealer or some fucking, you know, guy, a random guy just shoot you as a police officer when you do a random pullover stop, all right? If anybody that's got credit on that, though, is in my song here, and I'll, you know, write, sing it out to you, um, there's, you know, you got Tupac Shakur, you got, you know, uh, Notorious Big, both of them rappers, I know they live the G life, but that's risking your your life. I mean, the way they ran the the streets and ran the rap studios. I mean, it's dumb that way. I think, and I think that yeah, they should just if someone's gonna battle it out like this, I'm battling it out. I'm gonna put a rap out. You know, put it in your lyrics, put it in your songs. Don't put it in a bullet chamber and kill somebody over your fucking raps. Get over it. If someone got a little. You know, got a little bit better lyrics than you, better album than you, get over it, you know. Hey, 50 Cent did it, but I hope he comes back because Kanye West is just a cocky motherfucker. You know, he gets mouthy with his fans. Yo, all motherfucker, Kanye West, you're going to swear on the stage at your fans. You know, you, you and then he's going to put his woman out there to be the best woman of all time. You know, there's more beautiful women just as much as Kim Kardashian. I don't even think she's real with her fake ass and fake lips. You know, she ain't the most beautiful woman in the world. And this guy's, you know, literally throwing shit under the bus about his life, about his love life, about, oh, I'm the best, she's the best, and yeah, blah, blah, blah. You know, taking it over top in the extremes of marriage and putting himself out there that we're going to get this big football stadium and, you know, get real, man. You know, different than the ordinary fucking Joe making the living. And fucking, you know, ten dollars an hour at McDonald's you know, or eight minimum wage or whatever, you know, someone could come up with an idea and do that kind of shit. It might cost them money. But hey, whatever, you know. That don't impress me. The way he just gets all cocky with his fans. That ain't what you do to your fans either. Your fans come first. Alright? Now you got a kid, yeah, that will come first, but you know, your fans are what make your bread and butter. 
you you love them, they love you, you give them what they want with good music, you put yourself in this predicament, dude. You don't come out saying, yo, I'm motherfucking Kanye West and, and you people this and that, and I'm putting my life on the line. You don't just go that far. And another thing that bugs me is he's going to say he's shaking like he's got Parkinson's. You know, that means you're talking about every little kid out there with Parkinson's or that it gets it, or an old person that gets it, or even a kid with cancer loses his hair. What the fuck you busting chops on? I mean, there's limits. You can do bust rap, bust the rhyme rap, and bust someone's balls, but when it comes down to a disease that no one can cure, I mean, I might be a little more, more pushing it over the fucking bridge, falling off and, you know... Eh, it's not as bad as your mama jokes. I mean, anybody, get over it, you know. A rapper's a rapper, a bus is a bus, but when you have a serious disease like that, I think, yeah, you're pushing it a little to the extreme. And who would want to put into their rap anyways? I'm shaking like I got Parkinson's. Sounds fucking stupid. And that's the only thing, that's what really makes me think. This guy got no fucking brains, all right? Anybody, I mean, I don't know about anybody, but I can do rap. I love rap. I grew up on rap. Hell, I grew up in the fucking hood with brothers, all right? A bunch of friends in here. My friends Carlos, Bobby, Tremont. You know, growing up, my buddy Calvin Atwood, his brother, you know, Corey Atwood, rest in peace. Um, I had a lot of friends. I had a, my, my brother, my one of my brothers, Kevin, you know, gave me my, he was a good friend, gave me my first fucking pair of Adidas. You know, he had an extra pair, he said, hey, give them to me. And, you know, there you go. I hung with the crowd. I hung, I hung in the hood. You know, I grew up on rap. I even did break dancing with one of my brothers, Omar, in the fifth grade at Ryan Gold School in Fitchburg, Mass. Hell yeah. You know, my, my brother, Robin, uh, what was she, uh, Robert Williams. All you fuckers out there, you know who I am. And You know, I even went to jail out in Springfield. I had brothers out there. Fucking, what's up, nigga? My nigga, hey. Got me in your crew, shit. We're all true. But, um, like I say, I like the right lyrics, and I wrote this for fucking Kanye West, and as much as I don't want to waste my breath on him, but you know what? This is how rap, and this is how it should be. You bust out a lyric, bust his balls, whatever. Bust his chops. <laughs> but, I mean, like I say, I'm, I'm fucking risking your life on stage. All fucking Metallica. James Hetfield stepped into a, a pyrotech fire flame, burned his whole fucking face and arm. He put his, he didn't even know where he was stepping because the lights were so bright. And, and that's risking your fucking life too. But does he fucking sit there and say, oh, I'm like the, the military when he ain't stepping on the front lines either? But he's risking his life. He get fired up and burned on stage. But he's not putting himself out that far as being, you know. On the front lines, and like I say, there are a couple of people out there that did. If there's anybody that did, would be Tupac Shakur and another one, Ice T, gonna stand in between the blood and the crip. Even Fifty Cent, he got shot up for rap. Whatever his shit was in the rap industry, he got shot up too. People want him dead because he fucking got good rap. But hey, that's risking your fucking life. What you do? Probably pay off your fucking people to leave you alone, you know. Hey, hey, I'll pay you off. Don't shoot me. Who knows, you know? But you don't compare yourself to the military, police, or firefighters that are fighting every day. Now, yeah, like, like the cop that came out and wrote back, that fucking bothers me too, because that's just putting yourself way too far into the fucking field of fire. But moving on, um, these are my lyrics about Kanye West and what I really think of him. And just a poor, straight-up cracker kicking up this rap tune to put this cocky, stupid-talking, punk-ass chump the rest a dumb motherfucker named Kanye West. Now, I would have left it alone, but he cut on an interview way too deep saying he's putting his life on the line entertaining his fans. He's gonna fall off the stage and get fucking hurt while on, <clears throat> excuse me, while on military police firemen are dodging bullets, fires, and falling in the dirt. How the fuck are you going to compare yourself like that? The closest of any rapper that has put their life on the line to almost get shot and the other two died. 
happened while you were still in school and still probably looking like a fucking fool. <clears throat> we will start off with the East Coast, West Coast feud. Notorious Big and Tupac Shakur. And I know these two might be gone, but will still be better than you. Then we have one more brother to speak of. And I know he's not worried about falling off a motherfucking stage. And what he did to risk his life, you may say. And that stood in between the blood and the crypt. We want to talk about a lot of love. And if you don't remember or just don't want to see... Well, let me remind you that would be Ice Motherfucking T, a badass rapper who's everything, who has everything to show, and I think he has a way better woman than yours. Her name is Coco. Now let me move on, cause this could take to the break of dawn. And while I got women on the mind, let's talk about yours and how you think she's so fine. Oh wait, the best woman on earth in all time. Say what? You monkey motherfucking, she's nothing but a pig who made her name and fame by fucking in a porn and keeps lifting up her <clears throat> ugly skirt and just showing off her chest. To me, that's just a straight up flirt. And for her huge ass that I think will knock everything <clears throat> while she walks by leads me to the next rapper, the original Long and Strong still got the friction going on. Something you could never do with your birthday and your big booty call and all that bullshit of being a swagger. He is the ultimate ass tagger. That would be Sir Mix a lot, man. I hope he comes back to boil your crap in a pot and all this and all his girls had the best rump trains. Your woman, her ass, better tell her to get up <clears throat> before she suffocates her brains. So moving on, because I feel like I'm wasting my rap. Gotta sing about something better than that and knock you straight out of your seat. My nigga from Oakland is still holding up the fort. Someone I know you'll never defeat. That would be straight up from the ghetto. His name is too short. Enough said. So don't try to click off or even flee, cause now I'm gonna tell you about Public Enemy and the mighty Chuck D. He is the lyrical master, you think you can top that? As he'll shut you down like the clown, then bring the noise and drill it in your head. You better <clears throat> get run and go hide in Kim's bed. And if that's not ruthless enough and you still want to talk shit like a punk, that <clears throat> I give you the real niggas with attitude that are not afraid to approach the danger. Let me name them off one by one. Ice Cube, the predator, and always wicked when it when laying down a rap. Dr. Dre keeping a real with nothing but a G thing and straight in <clears throat> stranded on death row. Then rest in peace, easy motherfucking eternal E with neighborhood sniper and down to the last roach. And how about MC Ren with the shock of the hour? And right up my alley, oh, shit going on to the break of dawn. And who gives a damn about your platinum albums? Who gives a shit about your 27 Grammys? Oh, wait, 27 Grammys? Then why ain't you hosting that show? Oh, wait, maybe the people who run it really know that they got a real rapper who can't <clears throat> wait. About himself, who knows how to keep the dumb shit from coming out of his mouth? Who will take a muscle-bound man and put his face in the sand? And who is real? Who is a real true phenomenon? And you will always hear him on the radio, gonna rock the bells. Everyone listens to him play. <clears throat> it's the one and only LL Cool J. Man, you got nothing you need straight up buffing. Hell, even Eminem's got more shit on you. Even got top spot on the awards from YouTube. Where were you in all this mix with your fake ass video riding on a bike, getting mouthy with your audience, talking about, oh, look, out on motherfucking Kanye West and don't talk trash about my woman because she's the best hell, better than the world. And all of the time, yeah, you know, you need to give her the rest. <clears throat> the best thing you can do is take two years off from talking so much shit. Your breath is stinking. 
starting to stink out the world while you putting rappers <clears throat> while you are putting up your mitts. Let me finish with some more rappers that will still put you to shame. Oh, how about going back as far as you were a kid with the legends who broke all of the MC's mic. The mighty Run DMC and Jam Master J, the kings of rock, <clears throat> who suckers like you can call them sire, then can take your music and throw it in the fire. We also got the Beastie Boys, House of Pain, Cypress Hill, I hope this list drives you insane. Onyx, where you can back the fuck up and they will slam all your shitty fits that you have. You know what? The fat boys probably have more hits. So I think it's time to call it quits before you start crying and we start bumping chest. Make sure when you go to bed tonight, thinking of what you <clears throat> already said. <clears throat> oh, I'm shaking like I got Parkinson's. I'm, ri I'm risking my life. And I'm motherfucking Kanye West. You know, you're just... Another person in this world and ain't no better than the rest. Hell, 50 Cent might be gone for now, but I, <clears throat> but being shot up, now that's a risk. I hope he skips over his regret of taking <clears throat> on you and get back into writing real rap tunes. Because your crap is overrated. I fucking hate it. I will always come out to debate it. You ain't no better than me. Here's my song. Nice and long what you say and do will always be wrong. You suck. Your songs can go get fucked. Fuck, I'm tired of wasting my breath. This white trash, dumb white fucking cracker. I just served you on a plate. Don't care how much I suck and how I rate. Just as long as you know that you ain't nothing and what comes out your mouth will... <clears throat> Well, that ends this show out. You know what? That's my rap to Kanye West. Hey, if it sucks, it sucks. If it don't, it don't. I don't care. I just wanted to let him know, you know what, man? You're not the only one on this earth that risks their life. You're not the only greatest fucking rapper in history. And when fucking Run DMC gets inducted into the Hall of Fame, and you're sitting there and you're fucking mouth full of shame, Hey, take it as it is, dear. Because you suck. Your music sucks. <laughs> Your wife even sucks. Her family sucks. You're all overrated. You all started something. <sighs> to me, hey, I think you should start checking before what comes out of your mouth, brother. But other than that, I'm out. YouTube, see you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed my rap. Don't think it's crap. <laughs> Whatever, if it is, it is, I don't care. But you know what, I wanted to get that out because Kanye West, you ain't real. Out.